Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. I'm Erica Hughes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be uh, notified when I upload new fluid art or acrylic pouring videos. Um, and have a look at all my, you know, check out some of my other videos. I have loads of them on the channel. Um, if you want to see how I mix my paints, there's a video link uh, in the description box underneath this video. It goes over uh, it's like 45 minutes of me mixing paint and pigments and gel gloss for my pigments and, um, you know, I mix in the USA Flood Flow Troll and all that stuff. So I won't go into too much detail with that today, but you can check out the video in the uh, description box below. I will go over my colors really quick. So this is a zinc white and then I have some greenish blue by Amsterdam that I may be using. I have Van Dyke Brown. I have Sea Glass by This Little Piggy. This is a pigment. I have Ore by This Little Piggy. That is a pigment. And then, like I said, this is the Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. And this one is Cobalt Turquoise. This is Golden Fluid Acrylics, the first well, it was actually the second time now that I'm using it, but this is the first purchase for me to try those out. And this is Mermaid by This Little Piggy Pigments as well. So I wanted to maybe do like a kiss straight pour um, where you, you know, have two cups and you pour them at the same time together. But I'm kind of thinking I might just do a regular kind of straight pour. We'll see. We're just going to kind of wing it. Um, what else? So yeah, these are the same exact paints that I had used for my previous Dutch pour. Same mix. Didn't add any water to any of it. It's the same consistency. And this is just what works for me um, for my Dutch pours and my straight pours. So it's actually quite handy. Uh, you know, especially when, if you have any kind of leftover paints that you haven't used up in a while and the colors aren't crazy, like that, you know, where they shouldn't be going together. You could just throw them all in a cup and do a straight pour and you might get some cool effects. I'll show you one that I have here. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is a straight pour that I did using my... Um, Dutch pour paints so it works and you sometimes get some really cool results I'll just pop that to here okay so fingers crossed this works or I get a nice piece you know what let's just have some fun let's do a kiss pour it's been a while I wonder I am, I am working on a 12 inch by 16 inch deep edge canvas. So I gotta keep that in mind. You know, I wanna be able to co cover my sides. So it's gonna look like I'm gonna have loads of paint, but I have to keep that in mind I'm, that I need to stretch the paint over the edges to get nice um, sides. So, I'm just gonna kinda go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna do greenish blue. I know what I'll do, I think. Okay, I'm gonna layer my more straight pour cup first. And then in this cup, I'm gonna throw in the greenish blue and I'm gonna drop in some zinc white and not mix it or anything. And then just we'll pour them together. Hopefully, let's see. I will add small bit of zinc white at the bottom here. And then I'm going to drop in some up high. So that was Prussian blue. And let's go for some golden cobalt, cobalt turquoise. Excuse me, I'll probably come back and do another maybe layered um, round. 
So let's go for some mermaid. Okay, and then, sure, let's just, no, I don't want to go crazy on that. So let's add in some, okay, let's just do a little bit. Going to add some gold. And then a small bit of Van Dyke Brown on that gold. Probably sink, but no, nope. And then we'll go in with. What will we go in with? This is probably just gonna be a big one. <laughs> we'll see. I'm just trying to keep the, some of the colors kind of separated. I'm gonna get some sea glass. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. We'll go in again with, actually, let's get some greenish blue. Let's throw in some more gold. See, I'm just like kind of whatever. <laughs> Let's just have fun and paint. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of chill out after I draw in some. Of that. I'm gonna top it off with some mermaid. That's good. Or some Prussian blue. So let's throw in some more mermaid and then guys I have no idea. Now we'll leave that. Like way too much paint, but whatevs. We'll scrape it and mix it together and get a nice, hopefully, blue shade. Okay, so now I'm going to drop this in. Whoops. Whoops. That's a big old chunk. I don't want that. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Let me get some gloves on. This is probably going to be messy. And I'm probably not going to fill this all the way, like, evenly with that. I, normally for a kiss pour, you'd want even cups, but we'll just work with it. Because I don't want to put in... Too much white. Okay, so this is a zinc white. I'm just going to kind of go like that. So you see how they're not exact, they're not too far off, so I'm not really concerned about it. Now, we're gonna pour. Okay, so I normally don't really breathe for this, so <laughs> I won't be talking, I don't think. So you want them, the two streams to connect. I'll be daring and go up a little. And then I'll come back down. And then I'm going to drop them out fast towards the end. Do a little wiggle. Sure, why not? Oh, 
Okay, so we're going to pull this So that was like a straight pour, wiggle pour, <laughs> jiggle pour. I don't really know. Um, you know what? Let's just go for it. I don't know. Okay, so let's get some air bubbles. I kind of want to do. Well, let's just go for it. Okay. So there we have it. So when you're going to corner to quarter corner, you always want to put Hold on one second. You always want to go back to the center to, um, you know, um, before you go to the next corner. You want to put the weight of the paint in, back into the center and pour that. And let me put this down so you guys can get a better look. Over the edge enough to cover that, hopefully then back to the center. I'm just gonna get my tweezers because I see a chunk of something in there. Oh seriously, come on. I probably lost it. Oh no, I don't think I got it. All right, well, we have that handy in case. In case I see it again. Okay. Oh, I see it now. See? Okay, so now I'm just going to set this down. Okay, so I just touched up the corners a little bit. Sorry, my camera cut. So let's torch this a little bit. The gold lacing is really cool. Um, I got some really cool, like, gold, I don't know, like penny cells. I don't know why I call them penny cells, but just some gold floating cells. I Few more air bubbles hiding in there. So it's not too bad. Debating. Let's see which way I like it. There's some cool, like, um, 3D ish looking. Um, ribbony type things there. I'll show you guys in the close-up, probably with the flash on. You can see all the shimmer. It's looking cool. There's some little cells kind of popping up coming through. It's not bad. I don't hate it and I'm not scraping it. So let me bring you guys in for a close-up and you guys can let me know what you think. Okay, guys, so I'm not sure how I want, like, the orientation of it yet, so I just have it like this for now. Um, I have the flash on my overhead light off. Let's see. So I'll bring you in. I love, love this part. This, like, underwater. Love it. 
Dig in these. Okay, and this is so cool. It's like 3D. I love it. It's like sand. It reminds me of like sand under the water. So that's neat. This part I'm not too happy about. Love this corner up here. And all the veins and the gold. I love that. This corner is cool too. So I pretty much love everything about it except for, I mean, as a whole, it doesn't wreck my head, but this is kind of wrecking my head here. But I can live with that. I don't know which way to put it. I'm going to wait until it dries and then just get it on the wall and decide. But I love that, those sand ripples. It's just so cool. And it's good, like, veins going through there. So, yeah, overall, I'm happy with it. Check that out again. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. So pretty. Look at these over here. Very pretty. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And again, thanks for stopping by and for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.